set up here. <clears throat> One minute, let me do this right quick. Slug here. Oh, right there. Perfection. All right. Down a little bit. Make sure y'all can see me okay. Show on, show on, just one minute getting set up here. Alright. <laughs> Make sure everything is perfect. Alright. Alright. How's that? Alright, we good? Alright, we good. Oh, turn this down. Lock. Watching Fantastic Four. Rise of the Silver Surfer. It's lock here. You know it. Got about that. Got about that. What's up, man? Slop you. <laughs> Sorry. All right, man. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Shawan. Shawan. All right. So we're going to get started, man. A lot going on. All right. A lot going on. All right. We got about a few more weeks before we enter into 2022. Things are already getting interesting, man. Just saw a video, all right, of a chariot, all right. NASA was doing some type of uh, interview with the ISS. As they had to shut that down, man. They saw a so-called UFO, a chariot, man. Then you had a tornado that hit, tore parts, tore parts of um, Kentucky. Hey, how about Shimeon Shai is no longer playing, man. He is not playing with you people. He ain't playing with you Israelites either, man. So, trying to get right. All right. But, before I get started with this quick lesson, all right. All right. Rocket the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh Shai. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who rule well, shall warm to the whole for elect that is scattered abroad. To you brothers out there, pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity, risk your lives are free to do so. And to the Yahweh, the free sisters that are listening, learning to you. I say, Shall warm, all right? Shall warm. Coming back at you with another lesson, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. We're going to jump right into it, man, because we're in those times, all right? We're going to open up with a scripture, all right? This is 2nd Israel chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I had told thee before, you see the prophecies that are coming to pass, all right? World War Three, the MOTB. Your boy Elon Musk, he already talking about the this BC, you know, the BCHIP, going to be issued, all right? The FDA is about to approve that. We're near, man. We are at the end of Esau's rulership, all right? Two prophecies left, and those prophecies are coming to pass, man. The U.S. just delivered military uh, tanks to uh, the Ukraine, because Russia is talking about invading the Ukraine, and then you got China is talking about invading Taiwan. All of this is leading up to World War III. Then Israel is talking about attacking Iran. Hey, man, we are here. All right? We're here, man. No more talks. All right? All those talks and those negotiations and all that stuff, that's out the door, man. These nations are about to go to World War III, man. Armageddon, which is the war that's going to end all war. The collapse of the dollar is on the way. Hey, we're here. Okay? Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou sayest part of the signs past, which I had told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will be beginning to visit the world which he made. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shai visiting the world which he made, man? This is it. All right? 
So no more bullshitting. The time of bullshitting, the time of, you know, playing games, that shit's about to come to an end. Okay? 2022, it's going to be one hell of a year. Okay? Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. You're seeing that now. Okay? All right? Verse 4. Then shall thou well understand that the most I speak of those days from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is being manifest. The end is speaking. Okay? All right? So let's move on. Let's go to Matthew 24, and we're going to read verse 3, and then we're going to skip down to verse 6. All right? Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. Hold on, let's see. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is straight to the point. Verse 3. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives, Yahushai, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Whose world? Esau's world. Not the end of the literal world. All right, like it says in Second Israel chapter six and verse nine, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that followeth. Okay, All right. I'm gonna read verse four and five, man. Yeah, I'm gonna read it. All right, verse four, and Yahushua answered and said unto him, "Snug unto them, take heed that no man deceive you." All right, take heed. All right. And we're telling you, it's nice the same thing. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to take heed to these prophecies that have come to pass. Okay? Because, hey, like we say, 2022, man, 2022 is going to be the year, baby. All right? 2022 is going to be the year of the Karagma, year of World War III, and the year of our salvation, Lord willing. All right? But, hey, we know we're close. Now we don't know what we don't know what day we don't know the hour, but we know we're close to it, all right? Because like we say, when you see these things happening, like you know how said, when you see these prophecies begin to happen, know your salvation is near. It says, "Then lift up your head, because your redemption draws nigh." Our redemption draws near. Okay, verse five: For many shall, for many shall come in my name, saying, "I am Hamashiach or the Anointed," and shall deceive many. You got many false prophets out there that are not warning you about the impending danger that's coming. The MOTB, World War III, Jacob's Trouble, okay? Only the true men of the Lord are doing that, okay? Verse 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. You hearing that now? World War III. You see it on the news. China talking about invading Taiwan. Russia is getting aggressive. The Lord Yahweh is putting that, that hey, that, <laughs> that spirit back on Russia, man. That soul rich spirit back on Russia, man. Gog and Magog. It's on, man. All right. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these days must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? Verse 7. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. You're seeing that now. Earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes in almost every place. Places you never even thought there would be an earthquake. There are earthquakes. You got famines. Food shortages. The supply chain is going to get worse. More pestilence diseases. Okay? Alright? Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All of these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read on it now. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to read verse 21. Skip down to Matthew, verse 20, Matthew 24, verse 21. But then shall be great tribulations, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And that said, those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect say, those days shall be shortened. And unless Yahushua comes back and delivers his elect, man, all flesh on earth will be gone. There will be no light to come back to save. All right? 
So, hey. Things are rapidly moving fast, man. We're, we're, we're here. Okay? Actually, let me go to Ezekiel. Let me go to Ezekiel 30. I think it's Ezekiel 38. And, yeah. Come. This is Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief priest of Meshach and Tabal, and prophesy against him. All right? Gog and Magog is talking about Russia. All right? Verse 3. And say, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and the chief priest of Meshach and Tabal. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armory, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. And the modern day sword is your military weapons, the missiles, all right? That main sword is the missiles, man, okay? So the Lord Yahweh Shai is putting that, hey, that evil spirit into Gog and Magog, which is Russia, to do these things that they're doing. All right, let's go to let's go to a quick scripture right quick. Proverbs twenty one and verse one. Because <laughs> like it says, man, a man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? All right, Proverbs twenty one and verse one. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord Yahweh Shai. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Okay? So, hey, a man's going to the Lord, man. The Lord, how much he is allowing, hey, Russia is do doing what they're doing. Why? To fulfill prophecy. And prophecy is about to be fulfilled. Okay? Verse 5. Persian, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shields and helmets. So, all these nations... Are gonna hey join up with Russia along with China, all right? Iran, all these nations, Gomer, Turkey, all right, and all his bands, the horses of Tungamar of the North Quarters, and all his bands, many and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and thy and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be. And be thou a guard unto them. So Russia is going to be a guard to these other nations, okay? All right? Because, hey, America is going to be drawn into this next world war, man. Okay? Let's go to, let's go to Jeremiah. Let's see. Let's stretch on this. I think it's Jeremiah 49 and 21, I believe. Where it says, the least of the flock shall draw them out. Yeah, verse 20, snuck. Jeremiah 49, verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh Shiyah Shai, that he have taken against Edom and his purposes, that he have purposed against the habitations of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So, America is going to be drawn into this next World War Three. okay? Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them, okay? And this is all being done through the spirit and power of Yahweh man. Okay. Joel, let's go to Joel 3 and 1. Alright. Yeah. Joel 3 and 1. Let's see. Joel 3 and 1. Alright. Yeah. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time shall I bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Judah is the southern kingdom, which is the so-called Negroes along with Benjamin and Levi. Okay. And Jerusalem is the northern kingdom, which is the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. All right. So our captivity is about to be turned back, man. And this is all being done through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Verse 2. And I will also gather together all nations and bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Yahweh Shapat means Yahweh Judge. And plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people. They have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. 
Verse 4. Ye, yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? It's talking about Ham, man. Ye Hamite nations, the so-called African nations, and all the coast of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. All right. That's when the, uh, that's when Jerusalem was ransacked, man. All right. Verse uh, six. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, which are all 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Have ye sold to the Grecians? Who are the Grecians? All right. The Edomites, the so-called white race. That ye might remove them far from their border. And we were removed far from our land, man. Like it says in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. That, hey, we shall see the land no more until your house shot comes back. All right. We were sold to our enemies, not to our friends. Okay. Verse 7. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. So, hey, the Israelites are being raised out of the lands, especially here in Babylon the Great, were being raised up and throughout the parts of the and all four corners of the earth where we were scattered. Okay? All right? And this is what's about to happen because, hey, these heathen nations, and this is what is all being gathered up for. All right? So, hey, to do this, Joel 3 and verse 8, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the into the hand of the children of Judah and they shall sell them to the Sabines to a people far off for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it all right you nations and you heathen nations and you Edomites y'all about to go into captivity man starting with the elites the elites is going to be the first fruits of slavery all right he that leads in the captivity shall go into captivity these uh low level Edomites yeah, they're going to die on this side. They're going to be reborn in the kingdom through the loins of the elites as slaves. All right? Verse, uh, yeah, verse 9. I'm reading verse 9. Continuing. Verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's what these nations are doing, man. Okay? These nations that didn't have nuclear capabilities, hey, now they're now they flexing against America, Babylon the Great. All right? A long time ago, these nations couldn't talk shit to America. Nation, look, America was, was something to be feared. All right? Or America is still militarily strong, but... In the inside, it's falling apart. Esau's kingdom is falling apart, man. It's over with. <laughs> all right. Verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Hither cost thy mighty ones to come down, O glory, Yahweh, Verse 12. Let the heathen be wakened and come up into the valley of Yahweh, for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. And that's what is about to happen. These heathen nations are about to be judged. That's why these nations are being gathered over there in the land of uh, in Saudi Arabia. Okay? All right? For this next World War Three, man. All right? For Harmer God War in World War Three. Okay? And there will be a draft. <laughs> okay? Don't think it won't be a draft, because the draft is coming back. Okay? Verse 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the pleasant, for, sorry, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes, in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord, Yahweh, is near in the valley of decision. All right? Hey, it's near. World War Three is going to kick off, man. Okay? Verse 15. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shine. 
the Lord Yahweh Shiyah Shai also shall roar out in Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord Yahweh Shiyah Shai will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Okay, we're going to be delivered before this impending destruction, before those nuclear missiles hit. The elect are going to be beamed up into the chariots. All right. <laughs> That's why these chariots appear. We know our salvation is near, man. Okay. All right. And the earth is going to shake. How the earth is going to shake. All right. The mycelium nuclear missile is going to cause the earth to shake. Rock to and fro. All right. Let's get that. And uh, I think it's Psalm 20. Not Psalm, but Isaiah 24 and verse. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to start verse 18. Isaiah 24, verse 18. And it shall come to pass that he who fled from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows of, from the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. What's going to cause those windows to be open? Those ICBM nuclear missiles, man. When those ICBM nuclear missiles re-enter into the Earth's atmosphere, they're going to come down. They ain't going to rain down, man. 200 million on Babylon the Great America, man. Hey, <laughs> you saw the movie uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, all right? Where that missile hit and what that missile, what the missile's going to do. Yeah. You saw the scene with Sarah Connor, all right? Quite sure you have. All right. <clears throat> Verse 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth moves exceedingly. <laughs> Verse 20. The earth is re snotty. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. The and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it. It shall fall and not rise again. This is it, man. Okay? All right? When them missiles hit, it's over for Babylon. Okay? It's over for this place. All right? Let's go back to Joel. Three and... I'm going to read verse 17. So shall ye know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, and shall your power dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy... And there shall no strangers pass through her anymore. Okay? Because, hey, the Israelites are going to dwell in safety alone. Like he tells you in Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter, I think it's 28 verse, where it says that Israel shall dwell in safety alone. All right? We ain't going to have to worry about nobody, all right, coming up against us anymore. All right? Verse 18. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall so drop down new wine and the hills shall flow with milk and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with water and the fount and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord Yahweh Shiyashah and shall water the valley of Shittim. Okay. Verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation. What is modern day Egypt? Is this talking about ancient Egypt? No. All right. It's talking about the new Egypt. That's spoken of in Revelation chapter uh, 11, verse 8. Modern day Egypt, which is Babylon and Great America. Okay? Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. What does it say? Uh, what does it say? In, uh, Numbers 35 and 33. Let's get it. <laughs> Numbers 35 and verse 33. See the camera? Yep, you're still rolling. All right, let's continue. Numbers 35 and verse 33. So, she, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shedded it. Who is shed innocent blood, man? Esau, even the so-called white man. And these devils are going to have to get encountered for that. And for that, their blood is going to have to be shed. Okay, it tells you in uh, Revelation 13, 10. He that leaveth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. 
ok? Uh, there was a scripture I had in mind too. Um, wow, it just left me, man. Uh, hold on. Okay. Come, come, come. Ezekiel 35, verse, uh, come. Why y'all about some young shot, man? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Well, I want to start. All right. I'm going to start in verse 1, man. Ezekiel 35, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Mount Seir is talking about a people, all right? A race of people. It's talking about you Edomites, man. You so-called white race, okay? And say unto it, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand, against thee and i will make thee most desolate i will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that i am the lord yahweh verse 5 because thou hast has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the innocent blood so i has shed the blood of the children of israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their in their iniquity had an end <laughs> All right, so I can. Verse 6. Therefore, as I now said, the Lord Yahweh 